welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be reviewing the Lomo 40 litre dry motorcycle bag. Now the key aspect you have to remember about this bag, it costs less than the price of three beers. That's literally how cheap this bag is. It's £21 from Amazon, the link is in the description below, go and check it out. Yes it's a cheap bag but, but this definitely doesn't feel like a cheap Timu Alibaba Express bag that you'll probably be finding if you were to be buying it from any of them sites. This is this is a company that's from the UK. They're based out of Glasgow in Scotland, uh, and it definitely does feel like they've done some testing with it to get it up to a good standard of, of bag. Now, again, it's a 40 litre dry motorcycle bag. Why is it a motorcycle bag and not just a normal bag? You might be asking. That's a very good question. On the top here, we have these webbings which can allow for the strappings to go through. Uh, that gives it that more rigidity where it's not just going to fall out or fall through. It literally is going to be stuck through from there. Let's get that off and we'll have a quick look at it. Ugh. So it's 66 centimetres in height and about 26 centimetres in diameter, which actually does give you a lot more space than you probably think. So these are the uh, straps that don't come with it, but they are available from the website as well. They're actually really good bungee cords, a good length, matching black, and uh, yeah, got good hooks on them as well, I think. There we go, there's the bag. I'm just gonna show you quickly the strappings. Here's the strappings where you can, you can hook them all through. And obviously we've got, we've got the carry handle here, which is what it's for. As I say, it's a roll down top system. So we just literally unclip it, roll it up, and then there we have the space. You can see that's a decent size bag from top to bottom. It's well over, well over a meter, I think, when it's fully open. But obviously when we put it down, it's probably about there. Uh, so it's fully waterproof PVC with RF welded stitching. I'm not really sure what that means, but it sounds impressive, doesn't it? And uh, yeah, literally we've just got bags and bags of space inside the bag of bags to put all our stuff that we'll need for a good weekend trip. You know, you're not going to be touring around the whole of Europe for three weeks with a bag like this. But um, for a weekend trip, I think you've got absolutely buckets of space in here. As I say, it's a very simple process of like just roll it down, squeeze out some of the air, clip it up. We've also got a strap that you can chuck over your shoulder if you want to take it around. I mean, I don't even think you need to just keep it as a, a motorcycle bag. If it's a bag that you're taking to the beach or if you're going anywhere where you've got some wet stuff inside you want to keep away from all your other bits or keeping some stuff dry whilst you're doing some wet stuff, it's definitely an option as well. The way I've been working it is literally, I've just been putting it on the back here, just like this, getting the strap through the webbing, into there, into there, into the legs of the seat rest. And then we'll go through the, re the, through the webbing here, round underneath the back of the lights. And I get this other one here, chucking this around the middle, just to keep them all a bit tighter. And there we go. We've got it, we've got it all strapped on. We've got it ready to go. And it's as simple as that, on and off from the bag. Haven't got a faff about with all the frameworks for all the panniers and everything like that. But most importantly, it costs less than three pints for this bag. And that in itself, you know, I've paid more for this phone holder. I've paid more for a snood, you know, 20 pounds for a bag. That's a bargain price, you know what I mean? So go check it out, see what you think. I hope you'll be doing some more Lomo stuff on the site or any you know, other, other motorcycle products, which is what we're gonna be doing. So please do like and subscribe, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.